dude. <laughs> All right, I have uh, Dietrich on the phone right now from Arizine right now. What's going on, Dietrich? Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, how was the concert, man? How'd it go? It was, it was great. I just literally walked off the stage. I'm sitting here in the middle of the main drag of Milwaukee, half naked. I'm actually changing my pants right now as I'm talking to you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really hot in there, so I thought I'd come out and, like, you know, cool off a little bit. That's cool. Now, yeah. you, now you guys just got done doing. Well, you guys uh, uh, did a show here in Cleveland at Peabody's and stuff. Yeah. Now is this Chris? Yeah, this is Chris, bud. Hey, Chris. What's yeah. Going, yeah. And <laughs> How you doing? We're doing. I'm doing great, man. I, okay, cool. <laughs> when I was at when I was at uh, Peabody's and I watched you guys perform there, you yeah. guys put on a, per, a great performance, man. I was I was so impressed when I seen you guys up on stage and shit. Thank and, you very much. Yeah, and the only thing that kind of pissed me off was. At uh, Peabody's is that I was trying to get pictures of you guys on stage and shit so I could throw it up on our website at morningshowcentral.com, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they had nothing but fucking those smoke things going off everywhere, man. The smoke things, you mean like the fog? The, yeah, the fog machines or whatever the hell they were, and there was so much fog in there. Every picture I took, man, it sound it looked like you guys were in like uh, uh, yeah, a backdrop of the rings or something. We we try to look as we try to make it so that we look as mystical as possible, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, but I got some pretty good shots though, and I got them up on the website so people can check them out and shit though. But like I said, yeah. the 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 whole performance over at Peabody's was excellent, man. You guys did a hell of a job up there. But I wanted Thank to you. I wanted to get a little deeper in with uh, the interview and find out, you know, since uh, I got you on the line, I want to find out how long you guys been uh, doing this and tell me a little bit about the band and who's in the band and and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, we've been doing this for like five, six years. Um, we got Nick, Nick Scum on vocals. I'm, I'm Dietrich Thrall on bass, and uh, Christoph's our drummer. Those are the permanent members of the band, and we, we've been uh, Nick, Nick and I usually play guitar on the albums, and we usually bring in a live guitar player for the shows. So, and we've been, yeah, we've been doing it for a while, so like five, six years now. We've been doing a lot more regional touring and stuff like that, and, and uh, even national tours and stuff like that on the on the east half of the United States. So. Now you guys got this uh, album out right now, and yeah. uh, now you yeah. got it, it, now it, where they where, where can it, uh, people get the uh, copy of it at? Where where can they uh, snatch it up at? Uh, where we uh, we're just uh, we have we go through CD Baby um, like a lot of independent bands do. CD Baby does a really good job. Um, they can also get uh, downloads from like iTunes and and like a bunch of other you know download places. If you happen to be a membership like Rhapsody, you can get it off of there. I know that. Bit, uh, let me think of here. Uh, that's those are the only two I can think of right off the top of my head, but those are the two main ones. So that's awesome. Yeah. Now, Dom, you have any questions for the guys? Why we, we got them on the line? No, all I gotta say is, man, you, you're on tour with Wednesday Thirteen right now. Well, we we did like we we uh, lined up like four shows. We just kind of invited ourselves along oh, on their gosh. fucking tour, and that's. <laughs> so how how is it hitting the, being on the sta- same stage with them? Are you getting like the same type of traffic with your fan base? Or are they following along with you with them? Yeah, no, it's been really, really good. The shows have been about, I would say, three times better than what we even expected. I oh, mean, wow. we we we're uh, we fit in with all kinds of crowds. We've done shows with a bunch of bands that we didn't know how exactly we'd go over, and we we did our stuff, and and uh, it's going over really great. Dude, Dom, I'm telling you, when I went to Peabody's and I checked these guys out, I mean, the bands before them, there were a bunch of local bands and shit. You know, yeah. there was one chick up there. It was her and this keyboardist, whoever the fuck it was. And he was up. All he, all he was doing was like pr- pressing keys on his keyboard. Yeah. Why this bitch was just singing and shit. Yeah. It, dude, it was horrible. What was the band? I, 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 I didn't get a chance to see any of the other bands on the on the show. But I mean, we're we're always pretty happy when you know, with with the bands that we're playing with. Just, you know, because they they brought people out. And, you right. Know, always, we always end up hanging out. And dude, it's always a really cool situation. So D- I don't really know about the you know as far as like you know what they're doing or or whatever. But um, you know. Dietrich, trust me, that chick didn't bring anybody, man. The rest of the bands did, but that chick didn't, dude. You know, all right. But I just wanted to, you know, to let you guys, you know, let you guys know that you guys did a hell of a job at Peabody's. Tell me about the tour over at um, uh, uh, Milwaukee tonight. How did that go? It went all right. We 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 uh, yeah, we got here round four, pulled in the usual stuff, and uh, uh, yeah, it, I think it went okay. Was there any? Was it a big turnout? A lot of people show up. No, it was a good turnout. Good turnout. That's yeah. cool. Now, tell me a little bit of, uh, about the band uh, along the lines. What type of genre of music do you guys uh, fall into? Can you get uh, in? Yeah, we've, we've kind of coined our own. We've tried to like kind of kick our own you know, genre right out there. We, we kind of call what we do machine metal. I don't know how completely original that is. I know that you know, there's you know, Static X and other bands out there that are doing that kind of 
up, but we're we're kind of heavy. We're a little bit on the heavier side for, and we don't we don't really feel like we fit in uh, as far as genre rise with most industrial rock bands. But we seem to go over with our crowds fairly well. So I, I don't know. We we definitely feel like we're trying to do we push the envelope with some of the new, more experimental stuff that's going on uh, with with. And with what we're doing, we we just kind of write what we we feel is right, and it's I, I definitely feel like we've got some you know an original angle on what we're doing. So 